Welcome back! You beat Viper in lane. Mm -hmm. You're good against Rave King. What about some Death Prophet? That's still Death Prophet is always right? good. Yeah. Whoa! Death! <laughs> <laughs> really odd combo, but he's doing a good job so far, and well, the same could be said for uh, for nothing to say. Faith Beyond now getting caught. Battery Assault, the damage coming in. Snowball for the save. That hits on the XM. They do get first blood on Faith Beyond. They're trying to turn this at least for a trade. But X Nova's there with the body blocks, not allowing Jin Q to do anything with that tusk to get one in return. A lot of kill potential on the top. A bunch of slow. They're making a move. Yeah, going in for X Nova, just trying to get the damage out. The cogs keep them away. Not sure that's going to keep X Nova alive. Ticking down to 30 health. XM's back in the lane. And Jinku no. goes to the tag team. He's broken in the nether toxin. They're going to bring a third Ursa's up dead. here. XM just TP'd back. He's going to take the walk of shame. They might even lose X Nova if he's not too careful. Fade comes in. He might just die. He's heroes of are shadows. coming in one after and the he's other. He's dead. He's super dead. Like the overtime damage is just going to take. Urn of Shadows. There's the kill. That's Rose two. Skin. And oh, Night Stalker. Now that they left him alone, bottom, he's dead. Tusks. Uh, Volrus Punch. So it's going to be quite hard for Ursa. A lot of kiting potential coming out from these two abilities. Yeah, not the easiest Ursa game. Even with that BKB. They've got themselves a look over onto the Ursa. And the Snowball comes across with the Walrus Punch. XM, he's stuck here and in trouble trying to TP away. They do end up getting the kill on the Jin Q, but they will lose XM. And it looks like Fade will follow. And two for one trade for LGD. They'll farm up some Serpent Wards, get a little bit more gold out of this. And the Midas available. Massive Titus. There it is. Bottom lane, though. They're going to go and try and make a move on XM once again. They've got that Viper Strike. He's slowed down, and it doesn't look like he's getting away with the Fortune's End rooting him up. Purifying Flames coming in from Innocence is the finishing blow onto XM. He just cannot have enough space as LGD continue to hunt him down. They've also got the Dream Coil onto Fade, who will shackle this puck. Serpent Lord's committed. Here comes Chow's Hookshot in. They'll look to finish off Innocence. They at least get the Oracle. They've got the Silence out of the Viper with Brew Mother finally making the way over. And Fade beyond. He's getting low, but there's the Snowball trying to save him as long as possible. It looks as though the rest of LGD might back away as well. But Ame, he's in here, nothing to say. They re-engage, so Faith Beyond ends up dead. They've got the silence as well as the Walrus Punch out of the Broodmother. Ajit dies as LGD take their chances and are successful in killing off the Brood. Brood kind of showing and making the presence felt. But there go the Spiderlings and a lot of gold going to nothing to say. They're going to use that Dark Ascension, maybe come around the back. They've got themselves the Hex onto the Oracle as well as the Silence. They'll get the Kona Innocence and now they will cover Faith Beyond, but the Dream Coil is going to be placed on two of these heroes. It's with the Axe that was picked up recently by nothing to say. They've got themselves the Shackle. They get the Kona Faith Beyond. They end up losing Fate, so Jinkyu able to back away from this. But Ame loses that first light. So now, Aegis is gone Aegis in is two about seconds. to expire. The hookshot comes in oh, on the both the hook as well as the Wraith King. The Wraith King tries to turn this on to XM. They've got the Walrus Punch hitting onto the Broodmother. And now, XM, can he survive? He's getting low and starting to back away from this fight. They got the kill on the Ami for the second time. They have the Snowball as well as the Shards, but it's not enough to get the kill on the XM. And four heroes are gone here on LGD. And all they lose is the Shadow Shaman. That goes really well for Ehome. Ton of damage provides a lot of control, especially during the Dark Ascension. Like you get the. Bonus 100 damage, Night Stalker getting Found caught. Chalice, they had the Rod of Atos, they have the break and the Viper Strike thrown onto Chalice, trying to chase him with the Waning Rift, and now the damage in with the rest of the OTD here. An easy kill on the Chalice, who is trying to build into that Nullifier. He's a long ways away from it. And, Standard uh, build. You want to be able yeah. to deal with the supports, extra slow, Nullify, and <laughs> Dream Coil now used on XM. Pops that in rage early, snaps the coil, trying to run. Urshot getting some distance. Nothing to say, might stay with him with the illusory orb, and that's exactly what he does. But here's the hex coming in from Fade. They've got themselves the shackle. False promise. And with the phase shift, Puck trying to survive, but they already got the kill on the innocent. They'll look over at Ame. This might be a terrible fight for LGD because they are going to pop the help first fight from Ame. They do not have Dream Coil to work with. They'll bring in some reinforcements and try to make this work with the break coming out on the XM. XM doesn't have that enraged for a second, and he will end up dead. So LGD, they get the kill onto the earth, so they'll take out Clockwork. They had finished off Fade prior, and this is a good fight for LGD. Almost a well-laid trap for Eho. Remembering the days of Tusk being able to snowball anytime. Save anybody. X Nova. Breaking the smoke. Rod of Angels comes in, but they've got the Warrior's Punch as well as the Snowball coming through on Aja. He's been caught by himself. Fate comes in with the Serpent Wards, trying to keep this Broodmother alive, who stays alive for just a moment. And they will 
try to turn this one around with the hook shot. They get the kill on Innocence. The Junko has been placed on a both XM as well as Chalice. They continue to turn. They've got the buyback coming up from the Oracle, but they end up losing XM. And now Ame trying to survive. Snowball's there. That'll bring him over to X Nova, surviving the onslaught from Chalice. And Ame, he's got a double kill. They also take out Fade. And nothing to say is wicked sick as he is 7 0 and 12. Uh, Jin Q still chasing, has that punch ready, gets hexed. Faith Beyond, he's also here. Ooh, four step. Oh, what a move coming in from Faith Beyond to stop that TP. Now Ajin has to get out of dodge, but it's not as easy anymore. And it doesn't look like he's getting out anywhere. As Faith Beyond will get the kill, and rightfully so, because he's the one who made it happen. They couldn't even get to, to one life of Ame. Now, with the Basher online, has uh, another way of lockdown to deal with the BKBs. And they're just going to lose a set of racks. All of a sudden, it goes from 5 to 8 to 13k ahead. Ehome will try to defend this. They've used a smoke. A smoke on a three heroes going for the long wraparound, but nothing to say. He breaks it, and well, now LGD, they've got the information that they need. Ame immediately going into the XM. They get the kill into the air, so he's going to buy back immediately with the Viper Strike coming through on a Chalice. They're chasing Fade as well as Chalice, who pops the BKB, but they get the kill on a Fade. Taking out two. He does not have buyback. Dream Coil used on XM, who just bought back. Right clicks coming in. There are the bashes. X Nova trying to save his bear, and will do so. He just gets up to the high ground. However, doesn't mean this engagement is over. LGD, they're still pressuring the bottom lane. They try to make a move on a Puck who has a Lincoln Sphere. Brood uses Hex instead of a nuke it to remove the Lincoln Sphere. Just a, a bad move overall. Now you lost the second uh, set of barracks. They One last fight. Maybe they can take something and uh, come out ahead. But that's not exactly the easiest uh, of tasks ahead. They'll move forward, they've got the break on the Chalice, Viper Strike is used, so now he's hit with the Walrus Punch and immediately just dispatched from the fight. They're gonna bring the Broodmother in, who's hit with the Abyssal Blade. Down goes Ajit, he's got no buyback, and GG will be called LGD take game one in a simple one that looked okay for Eom at the beginning, but fell apart soon after. LGD doing a great job. And Lesh Smith could be pretty good, but Mars is not terrible against Lesh. Could you that profit as well on PSG or Timber. Song. Timber. Now uh, that that is a tank breaker. Slayer. Yeah. And it is an off lane timber. <laughs> but bottom lane now some good pressure on a faith oh, beyond. He might need, be first oh blood. my yeah. god, he needed like one CS. Look at that XP. That's that's nothing. That's a one finger of a creep that they needed to chop off. But Fade, he wants to go through the trees and potentially kill off Ame, which now forces him to go all the way back. There's a rotation. They're TP in the Grimstroke, but they end up losing Innocence. Maybe they could do something with this, but Jinkyu immediately getting harassed and pushed away. But everything towards the top is pretty close. Dream Coil Arena comes in and will try to get away, but the, they got themselves the Cogs, which locks up XM for the duration of the Arena. Inkswell pops, and with the Illusory Orb, nothing to say gets a kill on XM, who is having a really good time over mid. Tide Hunter already is level 6, doesn't have too much mana to work with, that's the problem with the Tide Hunter, they're making a move, 11 walk charges. Yeah, this is looking really bad for Chalice, they've got the Inkswell on him, looks for the body blocks, goes to the Ravage with the Sleep! Okay, that hits on the 2, but is it going to keep Chalice alive? Cox push him away, looking for the Stroke of Fate. Painting it a couple times, finally lands onto the Tide Hunter, but they've brought over their two supports. They've got the Shackle and the Anchor Smash. Innocence ends up dead to Exova, who's hitting really hard. Whirling Death coming through on a Chalice. Illusory Orb catching up to this Tide Hunter, who already used that Ravage, so really doesn't have much to play with, but still surviving as the sleep is massive and keeping alive the Tide Hunter. Who looks like he wants to turn around, but that was a bad decision as he gets hit by the Ink Swell. Jinku dies. Back online. X Nova. Well, he'll end up getting himself a second kill, but the Dream Coil plays down. They get the kill on a fade. They look over at X Nova, who tries to get another sweep, but won't land it this time. And with not a lot of mana to play with, both nothing to say, and Faith Beyond will back away. This game is much closer. QQQ certainly setting Ehome up for success. They'll go for the Tide again. They've got four heroes up in this top lane. They'll look for the sweep. They've got the Spear and the Arena. Timber Chain, no way. Faith 24 Beyond stacks. Out of this. Oh this my insane. god. Three man coil. Yeah, right on top. They're going to turn this one. Lead them up, boys. Faith Beyond, he's even staying on this as the Ravage gets thrown over. They hit the Spear on a like, but it doesn't attach to anything. So they get the kill on X Nova. They also end up losing Faith. They'll go after XM trying to chase this Mars. 
slow him down just a bit, but they won't chase near the tier one tower. That ends up with zero kills for Ehome on that. Uh, that was such a big turnaround. Yeah, you can't just think about it. I will not uh, buy any aura items because there is reflection. Hook, Hook shot, shot in. And that will land on Tax Nova, who's hit with Phantom's Embrace to follow that up. Look for an Inkswell diving under the tier two tower. Risky, risky, and Innocence. Well, he'll get the kill, but he'll end up getting traded. Meanwhile, though, nothing to say goes down to XM. The arena was used. Jin Q gets caught out. That was uh, Ravage used. Not really the worst thing for Chalice. <laughs> and Innocence fainting that hook shot. Thinking about moving in, but now he's surrounded by two heroes. Make it three. Jun Kuo comes in. Should be able to get the kill there under the Elder Titan. He's silenced up, so no sweep is coming in. They also got the kill on a Fade, so Fade Beyond gets one. Ami gets the other. Now they should be able to have the damage. Oh, good hook shot. Chalice, and the hook shot Into pushes the XM back with the cogs. So that's perfectly lined up by OGD. They lose a fight, they take a fight, and they win this one. Should be able to grab a fourth as they've got the silence on XM. Nowhere for him to run. Everybody dead but the Terravoid, who is uh, just continuing to try and... See, I do not want to go to Mars uh, or anything. Like, I just want to <laughs> use it for simple stuff. Arena down here with the spear landing onto Ame. And they've got the hex, so they should have the control to finish this off. But the hookshot comes in. It looks like it's not going to be enough, though, to save Ame. However, they might be able to turn on to XM and at least get themselves one. XM falls to Innocence. And they do finish off the Lars. And that is a trade I don't think you home were expecting on giving. Well, that would be cool addition to ability draft if you could take, if you could draft shards. Just a, a point. Not a bad idea. Fun. Roshan, he yeah, gets going bashed. For it. They're going to come through. They've got the Dream Cloud down. They get the Cone of Fate. They're going to look over to the side and control with these cogs, the Elder Titan. So they get the Cone of Nova, who's going to buy back immediately with Fade. They get Ravage the still XM available, and, but he just disappears. Yeah, they kill off the Tide so quickly. Four heroes already dead. They'll go after this Terra Blade, and they should be able to get themselves a full team wipe. But the buyback coming out from both supports, this really doesn't feel great for Ehome at all. A 10k lead for LGD. They're killing Tier 3 Towers. And it's going down so quickly. Like AC plus the Necro units. And they need a response, and it's going to have to start from probably a Ravage of some sort. Sleep comes in, but they've got the Dream Coil down as well as the Arena with the Gods communicating out of the Clockwork. Spear comes down, that will last, but they've got the Soulbind as well as the Dream Coil going up. They oh, DB is just TV. dead! Whoa, Stroke of Fate comes in, and with the help of Faith Beyond, they get the kill on Aji. He doesn't have buyback. This could start signaling the end. Hook shot, it lands. That's out on the Elder Titan. They've got the silence and Ravage finally comes in. That might be enough to get but one only return, but it's not going to be enough to really turn this fight. Now this might be it. They've lost four. They'll go after the Mars. They've got the BKB from XM who will bulwark back towards the base, but man, can he not do much? They just blew up that uh, Terror Blade. They used the Grimstroke ulti, ink over, double Dagon on two targets. Mid and bottom gone, and with no tier two standing. Sometimes you see that tier two in one lane, that last lane, but it's not standing here, so they oh. can just go for the tier three. Rock just blinked in. Yeah, and he's dead. Well, that's that's one way to throw the game. And he's just able to stand here, right click these towers. You need to be careful about how you approach this. Ether shock, stroke of fate that comes in and hits on X Nova, but they've got the sweep on the Ame, and hook shot misses as well. Puck trying to get into this fight as quickly as possible. He's actually smoked up himself to try and make his way in. They take out the tier three. They'll look for the set of racks and go after this tide. They've got the chakra on him as well as the silence. The soulbind now connects onto the they shadow just blow shaman. Him up again. They blew him up and did a lot of damage onto the shaman too with double dagon. They get the kill there onto X Nova. They'll look for more as the Dream Crew is placed down on them. Two of these heroes, Metamorphs is popped, trying to get the right clicks down on a beat. The Omni's so tanky, they just can't get the kill. Chakum hits on Ajit. XM trying to push his way forward and get something done, but Ajit falls again and nothing to say. They'll call GG, LGD. They'll take the series 2 0. And Ehome falls even further down as they have lost yet another series in this one 2 0 to LGD. This was supposed to be. Bad matchup for Lycan, but Ame made it 